gonna be doing the smoky eye. It's red and orange tones. It's really fun and you can go a lot of different directions with it. Um, I mean, I use like a bunch of colors. I think I use like four or five colors on my eyes today. You can just keep it down to two or you can add in yellows and oranges and like brighter reds. I just, I have so much fun with this. And when I used to work at MAC, it was the most popular smoky eye that I would wear. Every time I would wear these shades, women would come in asking me to apply it on them. It was like this big joke because all the makeup artists that I worked with would get really upset when I would come in wearing this and they would be like, what are you doing to us, Jacqueline? Because everybody wants these colors because when you look at them, you don't think like, oh, orange, oh, yellow, oh, red. But when you see it put together, it's very wearable. I absolutely love it for brown eyes. I know that I obviously don't have brown eyes. I love it for brown eyes though. I think that the warm tones with brown eyes, it's just like honey. It's beautiful. Um, it's complimentary to every eye color though. So if you wanna learn how to do this, just keep watching. Hello everybody. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids. I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot. Um, any primer will be fine. It's just beyond necessary that you use one today because we're gonna be working with a lot of eyeshadows. You do not want it falling all over your face. Um, today we're gonna be working out of this palette, which is like my reddish yellow palette, whatever. I'm going in with Samoa Silk, which is like a yellowy light brown. I'm taking this fluffy brush that you always see, which by the way, was from a limited collection. It was a holiday collection, that's why it's gold. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take the Samoa Silk and go back and forth and windshield wiper motions, taking it as far up as I want. This is very important because once you start going with those dark colors, you're really gonna need a medium tone color to help blend everything together. Otherwise, it's just not gonna be cute and you don't wanna deal with that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with Brown Script, which is this dark, beautiful red brown. Oh my gosh, favorite color. I'm going in with a synthetic brush. You want to use a synthetic brush because if you go in with a goat hair brush, the goat hair is going to hold most of this product and just kind of push it around and it's not going to be as pigmented as you see here in this video. So using a synthetic brush, I'm just going up into my crease, back and forth. Don't be scared to take it up pretty high because I'm going to have this really blown out. So I'm not afraid to get this up near my eyebrow today. Now I'm going in with red brick and I'm gonna use a goat hair brush now because I want this to be more softer because we're gonna to start to move upward. And take your time with this. You have to be patient and just go back and forth, back and forth. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but you don't wanna just pack product on there. Otherwise, it can start to look like a big, awful mess. So just back and forth with this. And then I'm gonna go back with the first brush you saw and just blend, blend, blend. And I go back with this brush probably three times in the whole process just to blend it up. I'm taking Rule now, which is this really pretty like apricot orange. And I'm just gonna toss that up in there because as you can see, it's kind of a gradient from like this dark deep brown red and then it's gonna go up and you know into redder and then fade out in the orange, kind of like fire. Okay, so cheese ball. Anyways, so yeah, you already saw me do that to my right eye. Now you get to watch me do it to my left and it's just the same thing. I wasn't sure if I should put this in the video, but then I was like, you know, I don't want to cut it out because I want you guys to actually get the point of what it takes, you know, and not just make it look like, oh, I'm fabulous. I do my makeup so quick. No, honestly, today doing my makeup took like a good 30 minutes, 35 minutes, I would say, because I had some te technical difficulties with my lashes. Um, but yeah, just working back and forth in these motions. And as you can see, I'm going into that inner tear duct area and I'm putting a pretty good amount of product in there because if you leave that alone, especially with these colors, it's gonna look kind of awkward. So you wanna bring that color in like you see there. Now I'm doing my eyeliner and I'm not gonna show you too much of me doing my eyeliner because everybody does eyeliner their own way. I'm doing it pretty thick today. I mean, more than pretty thick. I'm doing it very thick today. And if you guys wanna see a video of how I specifically do my eyeliner, let me know in the comments below because you know I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with my eyeliner because out of the whole process, the eyeliner takes me the longest, it takes me longer than anything else that I'm doing. So I'm just throwing it on and moving on because I really don't wanna sit here and show it to you for an hour, but that's what it looks like. And then later I actually thicken it up even more, so whatever. I'm highlighting right underneath my brow and I'm probably using the color Shroom but I just grab any color near to me. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can use a face highlighter, eyeshadow, whatever you have. Just 
anything light can go up there. Now I'm putting on my foundation and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before but this is a Sigma brush, a flat top kabuki. And after using this brush for my foundation, I will never use a different brush for the rest of my life, I don't think. I mean, it's like $15 or $16 and it puts MAC brushes to shame. It is so amazing. I even just got my mom one. Okay, I'm doing my eyebrows now, which once again is just like the eyeliner. You know, I'm doing it for you, but quickly I'm cutting some stuff out because eyebrows are a whole other thing themselves. Everybody has different eyebrows. Everybody does it their own way. I'm showing you how I use mine. I go in with the color Cork by MAC. I think I just showed a picture of that, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just throw it in my eyebrows and then I just brush it out with a spool to blend it all together so that it's not like choppy. I brush it out pretty good though, more than I'm showing you here. But yeah, I just keep going in there with a spool over and over and over and it'll help blend it together so that it doesn't look choppy. I used to do my eyebrows really choppy before I finally bought this spool and now it's like my life is completely different. Okay, concealer. I'm going in with NW20 is the shade and it is select cover up. And I know it looks like I'm putting like tons on my face. That's, oh hey, I'm busting out and singing. Sorry, my husband was playing music in the background really loud. Um, anyways, I'm using this with my finger. So my finger is going to take some of the product. So it's not going to put as much on as you think. Okay, Jacqueline, calm down. Do your makeup. Anyways, so I'm using my finger and I'm not doing it correctly. You should be working from the outer corner of your eye to the inner corner of your eye to prevent creasing. But I'm just not even paying attention. I'm so horrible at like being on YouTube. Okay, I'm going up on the side of my eyes, you can see, because I had a lot of that red coming towards my nose from me just like slapping my brush around. So I was just cleaning myself up. But anyways, I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. And I should be going from my outer corner to my inner, but I'm not because I do what I want. And now I'm going to set it with this translucent powder. Any translucent powder will work. I honestly do not see the difference in drugstore translucent powder and like MAC and YSL translucent powder. It's powder. Just use it. And I do it under my eyes and on my nose because those are the parts that I feel like my makeup just slides right off. And this prevents my creasing in between my eyebrows. So, wonderful. Now I am going in with brown script under my eyes. And I'm going in with a smaller brush first just to get it tight into my eyelashes. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a thicker one just to push it all around and blend it out. Because I don't want it to be like super tight down there. I want it to be kind of fluffy and smoked out. Now I'm going in with lashes, typical. Um, these are Red Cherry, number 43. I have like 20 of them, so they're the only lashes I use, but I am so picky when it comes to lashes, and these are the only lashes that I am just like absolutely in love with. I feel like I can wear them with any look, and I'm happy with them. Um, yeah, now I'm going in with bronzer. That's Give Me Sun by MAC. This is a great bronzer if you are not super white. Um, so yeah, I'm just lightly, I'm not even contouring, I'm just throwing it on right underneath my cheekbones, side of my face, right on my forehead. Make sure you get really good in that hairline because you don't want to see the line in between your hair and your bronzer. Um, yeah, I'm not really contouring, I'm just throwing it in there however. And then I'm going in with the blush Peaches by MAC and I'm going in on the apples of my cheeks and blending it upward. Um, I absolutely love this color blush with this eyeshadow. It is so complimentary. I love. Okay, but seriously, it's so pretty. I love it. And then I'm putting a highlighter on my cheek. Any highlighter. I think I use Soft and Gentle. You can use absolutely anything though. Doesn't matter. I'm going in with the Fairy Glen lipstick, which was a limited edition from like two years ago, but it's my favorite nude ever. It's not too nude. It's just perfect. I'm highlighting my cupid's bow just to bring a little bit more attention to my new lips because I don't like your lips to fall away from the makeup. And then I'm just touching that same highlight just on my nose. Brow gel, the most important thing. Oh, hello John, that's my husband. Um, yes, keeping my eyebrows in place because I do not need the flyaways. I think it's the most important part of your look. Even if I'm doing like a natural day, I like just using clear brow gel, otherwise my eyebrows are all over the place. Okay, I look very confused and concerned. Okay, anyways, a little bit of mascara on the bottom eyelashes. I don't like to neglect my bottom eyelashes just because 
they're really long and I feel like if I don't use mascara you can see the eyeshadow on them and it just looks weird so I always do a little bit of mascara down there but you do not have to by any means the look will look complete without it and I'm touching the mascara under my false lashes just to complete the look and make it look more natural and that's it the look is done so bye